Hello my little crafty monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these amazing, amazing shaker cards. That's right Bobo, we are making some cute little shaker cards. Look at how cute this is, right? That is super duper duper cute. And then in the inside, it just says Happy Halloween with a little spider in there. So these are the little bad boys we are going to be making today. These would be perfect, perfect for just giving out a little Halloween card to that little special someone or maybe one of your children's. Or maybe, you know, to make a few of them to give out to some of your, um, your baby's little best friends you know and um or maybe you just want to give some out to your siblings or to your friends or co-workers or whatever whatever it is my little crafty monsters you can make these little bad boys they're super duper 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 easy and also i mean like just imagine if you were having kind of like a little small intimate little halloween party these would be cute little invites cute little invites cute little birthday cards cute little whatever it is you want to do these are super duper cute. I really love making shaker cards. I don't know why, but shaker cards are my ultimate favorite because I really believe that, you know, the little dancing of the sequences inside or whatever it is that you're putting inside of that little um, card or shaker tag or shaker embellishment or shaker whatever it is you want to shaker bobo. Um, <laughs> I think that it's like super duper cute. And I mean, like, uh, who doesn't like in getting a little shaker right so this is a little bad boy we are going to be making today and let's not waste any more time boo-boos because i know you guys want to get down and dirty so let's get down and dirty boo-boos and i will see you in a bit all righty then my little crafty monsters let's get down and dirty and make these little bad boys right here so these are going to be some shaker cards these are going to be some halloween bat ones this is the bat die that we purchased from z michaels and then that paper pack that paper pack was sent to me by my good friend Teresa. Teresa went ahead and sent us a bunch of stuff christmas halloween um all kinds of stuff um paper packs that she sent us and this is one of them and so what we are going to do here is we're going to go ahead and use those orange card bases and then we're going to pick a card mat for the front and we're using this paper pack and we're just going to go ahead and look for something that is pretty eye appealing for me and I like this little stars. So we're going to go ahead and go with the stars because we're going to be making a bat shaker card. So, you know, stars, the bat flying, that just, it just all goes together. Yes, it does, my little crafty monsters. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut down our card mats. Now, if you guys don't know about card mats and card bases, I'll go ahead and link a tutorial down in the description area. And you guys can go ahead and click that and it will give you measurements and talk about all about card bases and card mats if you guys are interested in making some greeting cards or maybe or maybe even some invitations you never know my little crafty monsters so then now what we will be doing is we're going to go ahead and stick this dsp paper onto this 110 pound black cardstock that we cut to the same size and we're going to go ahead and glue that on top of there yes my little baby there's matthias calling us um and so we're going to go ahead and glue that onto the black card cardstock because we want to make this very sturdy and very thick and so we're going to go ahead and make two of these little cards so let's go ahead and do this twice and again, like I said, we're gluing our card, I mean, we're gluing the DSP paper onto card stock that is 110 pounds, both cut to the same exact measurements. And then we're going to go ahead and just roll this so that it just smooths out all of the little bubbles and, you know, just distributes all of that glue evenly. Then we're just going to go ahead and let those dry. And we're going to go ahead and get our Sizzix. And we will be cutting the little holes. Well, not the holes, but we will be cutting the little bat out of that cardstock that we just glued. 
These are the shrinkadinks, and these are the ones that I like to use when I'm making shaker cards because this plastic is a lot thicker and it is at your fingertips, my little crafty monsters. You could find this at your local Hobby Lobby's, or you can find it at your Z Michaels or even Joanne. Joanne has it. Look at that. A little good old Joanne. <laughs> and so um, it'll usually be like where the kids' craft section is at. And so go ahead and just cut. All of your DSP and everything that you're going to use. This glitter paper, we're going to go ahead and make a frame. This frame is going to be on the outside part of this card. You guys will see. It's going to look amazing. And um, I hope it's going to look very inspirational for you to attempt to make one of these. Or not attempt. What are you talking about, Jesse? You know you guys will make one. And so right here, we're just going to go ahead and cut the largest bat size out of this um, acetate because we're going to go ahead and make this the window for our shaker card and um, come here come here Matthias we're right here baby and so now I'm going to go ahead and glue these two these are meant for you to make frame you know they're just they're like a nesting little bat die which is amazing and then the middle one is a design you guys are going to see we're going to put it all together guys so right here we're just going to go ahead and tape our little dice together so it makes a frame and I'm just going to cut out this black glitter galaxy paper that I purchased at Joann's one time when they had the paper on sale I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me do those hauls if you have been following me for a while already and so right here we're just gonna go ahead and cut two of these because we are going to be making two cards and these are the frames that we will be using in the front of the card. Like I said, it's going to look amazing once we start putting this little bad boy together. And it looks like it's pretty complicated, you guys, but it really isn't. And so right here now, I'm just going to go ahead and try to figure out where I want the bat to actually sit. And so now we're just going to go ahead and use the large... Um, well, not the large, I'm sorry, the the small little bat we're going to go ahead and use that to cut the window that will be the window of our shaker and you can go ahead and position that um in the center up high or whatever i did it a little high because i was planning on doing a little belly band look and adding some of this little skull ribbons that i purchased when my good friend tammy and abril went with me to downtown to my little hole in the wall and uh so i wanted to go ahead and use some of that as well so right here we're just going to go ahead and cut the window so that's i mean if you guys have this die it's amazing you guys will, are going to love it seriously you could do a standalone little shaker like we've done in previous videos or you can just do a little card like this or you don't even have to do it into a shaker you could just go ahead and you know cut designs and layer it on an actual cardstock out of different color cardstock and that would look really amazing as well. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut some black regular cardstock out of that center piece of our little die set. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the little, it's a little intricate cut. And that's going to be kind of like our little design in the middle of, of the whole entire card. You guys are going to see it's going to all pull in together this is a really simple card you guys but it is a really big impact because I mean you have the sequence inside dancing and I added some like little black midnight little galaxy looking glitter and I mean it just it just all came together and it looked really really nice um, and so yeah and so right here what we're looking for is we're looking for the sentiment that's going to go in the inside of our um, of our cards and so what I have decided was that I wanted to go ahead and just keep it simple there's a lot going on in the front of this card I mean it is a shaker card so that's an interacting card and it like I mean it's it's just really nice so on the inside I just was looking for something that said happy Halloween but in kind of like big fonts I, I did want it to take up a lot of room inside the card and so what the way I achieved that was I did find a sentiment that was fairly large that said Happy Halloween, but then I went ahead and I added a little small spider kind of going down on a spider web just to kind of give more of an illusion that that sentiment is fairly large and taking up a lot of space inside the 
the inside of the card. Now, I know you guys have a lot of sentiments. I mean, everybody has tons of sentiments, and I'm pretty sure you guys have some really cute Halloween ones with some cute quotes and stuff like that. By all means, I would definitely use that in this if I had it, but I don't really have a lot of them. I mean, a lot of my stamps are like just single words and stuff like that and uh, most of all the ones that have sentiments are the ones that i have from previous stamp sets that i purchased of halloween from lawn fun because you guys all know i'm a, i was a lawn fun fanatic i haven't really seen a lot of the new stuff but you know i'll catch up and see what's out there and who knows maybe maybe i'll get some stuff but anyways get back on track my little crafty monsters so right here we're just going to go ahead and stamp our little sentiment with our little stamp perfect and this tool makes everything so much easier now they don't have this on the market guys so you guys have to get one of the misties but if you guys did get a hold of one of these super lucky so after we have all of these little bad boys stamped, now what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and start putting this little bad boy together. And so we are going to be using some of that, what is it, uh, 3M tape foam, whatever it's called. <laughs> and so we are going to be using that to actually make these cards because... You know, I mean, you could do it either way. So you guys have seen when I have got foam, you know, the foam sheets, and I went ahead and I cut out the dies, and then I used layers of the foam sheet and glued them together to make that little, I call it a sequence pull, to make that little swimming pool for the sequence. And so you could do it that way. You can go ahead and cut the sheets the size of your card and then just cut out that center little bat. But I felt that... Because the card is actually square, well, rectangle. Um, it would be really easy just to do like a little rectangle shaker. Nobody's really going to see it because it's on the inside of the card. And all they're going to see is that little bat window in the front. So I said, you know what, it's just let's just do it with the tape. And I did do two layers on each part of this tape. Now, if you were going to make these as invites or to pass out to... Um, to your special little someones then i would <laughs> i would definitely do um a thinner shaker obviously and i would use cardstock so instead of using the foam i mean because like you you could use the foam but i mean i mean i guess you could you can go ahead and do like a bunch of the frames like you did in the front of um a foam sheet but you know, you'll have to do like three or four layers for each card. So I were just to say that you would just do them out of a thick card stock and, you know, and whatever room you have for sequence, just use that. Just make sure that your sequence is flat. Most of all sequence is flat or you could use like a lot of table scatter and stuff like that. Just try not to throw in like little gems and stuff that are going to um, be a little too bulky. So right here. It was really easy for me to just do the square. Now, I know that right here you could see some of that little tape coming out of the window, but I'm just going to go ahead and get my little finger exacto knife, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut out those pieces. They're very little pieces, and it was really easy. And so, you know, it was no biggie. That's why I wasn't really worried when that tape was kind of going over. I just wanted it to be on the edges pretty straight as possible. And so right here, that's all I'm doing. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this little bad boys down. And I'm going to do that to the other card as well. Now, if you were just going to do that foam technique with the foam sheet, then you wouldn't have to worry about this. And if you were going to do also the cardstock method, then you wouldn't have to worry about this either. But, you know, um, there's another reason why I did use this foam tape is because I wanted to kind of do it around like in a frame around the whole entire card just so that it'll all be one level and it'll be you know pretty sturdy so right here i just found that it would be easier for me to just saw this little foam and it cut pretty good it cut it like butter <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start putting these little bad boys together i'm so excited you guys because these came became like so amazing little cards i really really love how these came out now 
would I make a lot of these? No, I wouldn't make a lot of these. I would only make a few of them just to give them to like my special, special someones. <clears throat> I mean, all of my cards, excuse me, all of my cards are special. Obviously, they all mean a lot to me because, you know, I made them. But I'm just saying like, you know, these would be like for my families. And so right here, all I'm doing is just I'm going to go ahead and now put this on top of our card bases. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my little powder tool. And I'm going to run that in the inside of all of the little foam tape and all of the little um, crevices and also the middle part of the whole entire little shaker card. This basically just takes off all of the static. And so your cards will be able to dance around. I mean, your cards, your sequence will be able to dance around and not be all staticky and you know stuck together or stuck in one corner and so right here i'm just going to go ahead and add the sequence we're adding some black some red we're adding some orange and i mean we're adding all kinds of different colors so i, I mean this is the fun part guys this is where you guys could get very creative this is that glitter that i told you it's like a black galaxy it is amazing and i'm only adding very little of this because you guys i mean if you were to see these in person you would see why if you put too much, it'll just overpower because it will stick to the acetate. But for this case, you know, it was it was perfect enough of that little glitter. So I like to use my Tombow and I'm going all around the edge and I'm going to go ahead and add my little um, acetate. And don't worry about the way it looks, my little crafty monsters, because you will be putting that little frame on top of that and you won't even be able to see. And this is where that frame goes. And voila, you just made a little shaker card, boo-boos. <laughs> and so we're going to go ahead and do that one more time so you guys can see. This is that little decorative part in the inside, in the middle. I thought that was super cute. Now, you guys could cut this out of cardstock that is glittered. Or you can do it just, you know, plain, solid, matte the way it is. I figured that I would just leave it plain like that because the actual frame of the, the bat that we made is out of that galaxy glitter and I thought that that was perfect. So we're just going to go ahead and do this one more time. Just put the little Tombow glue all around our little bat and throw on your acetate. After you throw on your acetate, we're going to go ahead and throw on the frame. And that's that, my little crafty monsters. How cool are these, right? Then after this, we're going to go ahead and just put our little belly band and our ribbon and it's going to be really amazing. And so um, we're going to use our 10 second bow maker for the little bow because, you know, Jesse cannot make bows if his life depended on it. <laughs> well, I mean, I make bows, but, you know, they're just cheater bows. I call them cheater bows because they're just the loops and then I glue them all together and <laughs> I make it look like it's a bow. Um, so now we're gluing the last piece of our little card, which is that bat. And I'm also using Tombow on that because it is going to go onto that, um, slick surface. So you definitely want to use an adhesive that is really good. You don't want to just use like that regular tacky's Eileen because once it dries, it will peel off of that plastic. And right here, you saw that I pulled out the ruler and I was just measuring to see how big of a little belly band and how thick of a belly band I want to make. And I just went ahead and just picked a dark color cardstock that um, would be pretty bright and kind of say, hola, aquí estoy. Because <laughs> we're going to go ahead and just use that as the back part because um, our ribbon is going to also be the main attraction as well as that little shaker bat that we got going on and this is some really cute skull ribbons that i had purchased when i went shopping with my girls um tammy and uh, abril and i did offer them to take some of this ribbon because that is one huge spool but they both were like, no, I'm not going to use it. And I bet you anything, girls, once you see me making these cute little bows on these cards, you're going to want one. You're going to want one. And then just wait till you guys see what I'm going to do with this ribbon when I make those little Halloween um, ornaments. I'm going to be making those. Those are going to be adorbs. So anyways, now that we have our little ribbons done we're going to go ahead and just put double-sided tape onto these paper belly bands and usually i would have probably made a little decoration or i would have done something to these belly buns belly buns but <laughs> all i did was i just left them like that <laughs> so i'm just going to leave them just plain like that i want 
most of the focus to be in the little ribbon and I just wanted that color just to be in the background just to make it pop and stuff like that so that's how I made the belly buttons <laughs> why are you saying it like that Jesse I don't know he's crazy don't listen to him keep going guys and so now that we have these um, ribbons onto the little belly buttons <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and glue these little suckers onto our cards and this will basically be the final fin i mean the final touch it'll be the grand finale my little crafty monsters so now you could use eileen's glue on this part because it will be paper to paper even though that you know there is that ribbon in the center it'll still hold it and it'll be pretty secure and you can go ahead and do that to both of these now you could use tape runner or you could use double-sided tape you could use whatever it is that twinkles your fan team my little crafty monsters i just you know my go-to glue is always that eileen's tacky glue you guys see that in every single project i know a lot of people use glitter glue and all kinds of different glues and stuff like that and yeah those are nice and i'm pretty sure that they work really good but i always tend to just go with the good old eileen's it's cheap it's available it's right there i could get it anywhere <laughs> they even have tiny tiny little travel bottles at um, the 99 cent store i was like oh i'm gonna buy these and just put them in everybody's little swap i think that'd be cute <laughs> anyway jesse you're rambling the card is done this is it my little crafty monsters i hope that inspires you guys to make some and there you have it welcome back welcome back my little crafty monsters yeah bobos that's how easy it was to make these little bad boys right here. I mean, seriously, guys, was not really that hard. And with that cute little die that we purchased at Michael's, I mean, that made it even easier. So with that die, you guys could definitely make one of these little bad boys. Like I said, these would be perfect to give out as a little Halloween card for that little special someone in your life. Or if you want to make some of these little bad boys as invitations for like a Halloween party or it's a... On somebody's birthday. I mean, because you could definitely, definitely make one of these for somebody's birthday. That would be a special birthday card for that little special someone in your guys' life. So I hope that inspires you guys to make a little shaker card. Um, Halloween card. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, Dios mío, Jesse. You don't even know what you're doing. I'm serious, guys. Serious. So... <clears throat> True story, since I moved and I'm back, I'm, you know, getting back into the little groove and all that, I still have not got my mojo back. If y'all notice, I've been getting so tongue twisted lately, it is not even funny. But anyways... <laughs> Take two. I hope that I hope that inspires you guys to go ahead and make one of these little bad boys. So that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Until next time. No, that's not what I was trying to say. See, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Jesse, come on, get it together. Get it together. Okay. All right. So take three. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that little icon. It's a little picture of moi. And we become BFFFFFFs because I know BFs is good, but BFFFFs is even better. And I know you want to be my BFFFF, so go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. And since you're already there, go ahead and hit that little bell icon because that bell icon is for you, boo-boos. That's so you guys don't be missing out on any new content when I put that out. And also... Share, like, and tell a friend because that's what y'all need to do. Don't be stingy, boo-boos. Don't be giving me that, trying to keep me for you, only for you. No, you need to tell the world, boo-boo. Everybody needs to know about Paper to Masterpiece. So go ahead and tell the world. And that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Until next time, goodbye. This is the part where it stops recording. <laughs>